Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, November 16th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. I got up a little later, and the sun is rising, and my cat is enjoying her breakfast after spending the evening outside romping. And I have with me this beautiful painting by John Bunker, helping us pray today. It strikes me that all plants and trees are always reaching. They're almost straining towards the sun. In a desperate and beautiful grasp of life, they lean into what provides them energy. It's a beautiful statement. And a flower, a standing up, is quite something. It must take great strength, especially when the stem is thin. We continue in the book of Revelation. The dragon has been slain and John of Patmos continues his vision. He sees a new heaven and a new earth. And God says, look, I make all things new. And he sees the city of Jerusalem renewed, beautiful and people, lots of people around the throne of God. It's interesting, I studied um, many religious traditions in college as a religion major, and we were told that Hinduism had a cyclical understanding of the universe, that, that the world was born and then it ended and then it was born again, whereas Christians and Jews had a linear understanding of the universe, that the earth was created and then we're going to end. And, but actually, if you read the book of Revelation, it, it is a beginning again. It's not an ending. Behold, I make all things new, a new heaven, a new earth. It's just the beginning. Revelation is a vision of the beginning of all things, not the end. There is no end, not in heaven. And this, this renewal, this creation, it's better than the first. It's so beautiful, it's everything that we've hoped for. And it's not lonely at all. It's very populated. It's basically our favorite place, which for the Jews was Jerusalem. It's our favorite place made well. It's the new home, 2.0 and better. Behold, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says God. The beginning and the end are the same because the end is the beginning and it is who I am. And so don't think that the world ends. The world begins again and better. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Almighty God, you bring us in safety to this new day a day full of beauty with birds singing. We thank you that those that we love, when they die, they just begin life. That this existence that we're in is just, as C.S. Lewis says, the preface to a book that is so beautiful and that has no end. We thank you for John's vision and helping us to open our minds and hearts to your presence and your possibilities. Bless us today, Lord, and call us to do your work. Call us into the present moment to be awake and aware. Call us to care for others and to serve you, to be generous and kind. 
blanket this earth with your loving grace, Lord, that we may find ways to communicate with one another, that nations will come together, that we will learn to care for this beautiful earth that you've given us. Bless the sick, Lord. Bless all who suffer or grieve. Bless all who work hard and those who have no work. Grant us wisdom on this day, almighty God, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.